A new study suggests Enceladus's oceans have a high amount of carbon dioxide and hydrogen that could provide conditions favorable to life. New research from planetary scientists at the University of Washington suggests Enceladus's oceans probably have higher than previously thought concentrations of carbon dioxide and hydrogen and a more Earth-like pH level. The abundance of these gases is possibly providing fuel for living microbes, if there are any. The new information about the composition of Enceladus's ocean gives planetary scientists a better understanding of the ocean world's capacity to host life. Enceladus is the sixth largest moon of Saturn and is covered in ice. It is 25 times smaller than Earth and about 10 times as far from the Sun. But the Moon's salty subsurface ocean has caught the attention of astronomers around the world. That's because of the similarity in pH, salinity, and temperature to Earth's oceans. NASA's Cassini spacecraft began studying Enceladus in February 2005, when it passed within 1,167 kilometers of the Moon. Cassini found plumes of water vapor and ice particles erupting into space from the ocean through cracks in Enceladus's surface. Plumes were erupting at 800 miles an hour. That gives scientists a glimpse into what the Moon's subsurface's ocean might contain. However, when the researchers returned to Cassini data to get a clearer idea of the composition of Enceladus's inner oceans, they found significant differences between Enceladus's plume and ocean chemistry. They found that the plumes are not chemically the same as the ocean from where they emerged. The eruption process itself changes their composition. That's due to plume fractionation, or the separation of gases, which preferentially allows some components of the plume to erupt while others are left behind. Those high levels of carbon dioxide mean the ocean of Enceladus has a lower and more Earth-like pH level than previous studies have shown. And that's a good sign for the possibility of life. This finding makes it easier for us to compare this strange ocean world to a more familiar environment. Scientists suggest there could be high concentrations of ammonium as well, which is also a potential fuel for life. Most of what we know about Enceladus is all thanks to Cassini spacecraft. Understanding the difference between the ocean and the plume will help us a lot. That means future spacecraft missions will have to sample the plumes.